Hey, welcome back to part two of my 12 little monsters, which is 12 bar stools for my 12 foot monster. I told you I was gonna make a part two of this build. I know, you, everyone's gonna say, you're wearing the same clothes. I had to split this up into two different videos, so don't think that I never went to sleep or I just threw on the same clothes. No, just breaking this up into a couple of parts to make it easier, so this way I can upload it and all you guys can enjoy it. So, you guys know, this is your your back part, which I showed you guys how to build, showed you guys how to assemble the front part. Now, this is where you get your, your deck screws, your two and a half inch ones. Yeah, two and a half inch. And I use the wall bits for it. It's like a star bit, which I seem to like a lot because these hold together really, really well. I like to get my screws started. Okay, I'm not fighting to get them in. Throw them in there. Like I said, buy a big box of screws. Don't buy a little box because you're going to go through a lot of them. This is a six pound box and I go through quite a bit. Out of my hand because I'm trying to rush and get this done. Hope you guys can enjoy it. And hopefully, I'm not boring you or putting you to sleep. So, this is for all you beginners that want to try and build bar stools, or somebody who has done one working and they say, Hey, I want to come up with a nice idea to do some bar stools. Well, here you go. All right, I put this on its side now. This is the lumbrace. These are the longer ones. So what I do, I need my spacer. I put it in place. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, right here. Make sure my board is down there. I know my screws look all crooked and everything, but I gotta adjust one of them, it'll be okay. When I drive these in, I put them up pretty good. I sink them a little bit, so this way I know they're going to go in. It's going to pull it together. Oh, a little farther. I don't want to collaborate because it's at an angle. Okay. Top. We have the one here at the top. Now, this is where this where the little guy comes in. As you can see, I have notched it right here. I've notched it right here, it's longer. Half of the two by four that I've notched out. So I use this as a spacer for when I build the bar stool. And you'll see why. What I do is, taller one, I go right here with it. And I put my board right up against it. Make sure you don't have any of these little pieces of wood hanging off from when you cut it because it will affect how it goes together. Lay it down. Make sure I got a nice side here. Lay it down. Get my drill. Start my screws. Okay. Now, I have the back piece. Remember, these holes right here, I'll show you where all the crumb jig holes were. Right in here, these will go on the inside of the chair because you do not want to see these. So make sure. And you can start your screws. Because you already know where your holes are going to be. I start mine right here. And make sure sometimes you know, if you hear it start to crack, back off. Drill yourself a pilot hole. Because if you manhandle it, you're going to crack it and it's going to make it weak. You're not going to be able to use it at all. So 
take your time. And yeah, I've built enough of these I can, you know, go a little faster, but I'm gonna hold this up here a little bit just to get this started. These screws are nice because they bite in really easy. Like that. Make sure you eyeball where you think they need to be. Give yourself enough room to have them come in. Okay. I leave my spacer in there. So I know where this needs to be. I got those little pieces of wood hanging off. So splinter in your hand. Like these ones, you can rub them off with your hand if it's dry enough. That just happens when you're using a rough cut blade or the wood is wet. And that happens. Get your foot out of the way here. Right here is very important also. Use your spacer guide. And you can feel with your thumb right here where it needs to be also. It should be flush. You'll be good there. Sink them in a little bit and pull the wood tighter together. Okay. Down here, put your other two in. Oh, it's going to go on an angle. I have to fix that in a second. Alright, hold it with your hand. drive it in. Okay. Flip your chair over. Make sure that little space you don't fall on your hands because that won't feel good at all. Turn the chair around. Move your space around. Anything else? Okay, I know this chair looks really, really weird like this. You're looking at it like, oh my gosh, it's not going to fit. Yes, it will. Even if you know, the will move around to where your little burrs here on the wood. Make sure your feet are flush up against it. Because if you don't, the chair is going to wobble on you. And it's not going to be sturdy at all. When somebody goes to sit on it. Oh, I already got the screws in there. Well, no. I'll need this for the top. Come on. Okay. That's in there good. That's in there. Now, I have one more. Off. I should have did these before, but I didn't have time. You might, you know, help to put the crappy side in if the wood's not that good. I got screws over there. Yes, I do. I'll go over there, check my time. And eight minutes, not too bad. It does take a while to assemble these. So. Yeah, don't forget where your where your screws go. Or try and get ahead of yourself. Because you will forget to put a screw in. Like I almost just did. I had built enough of these you think. I would just know by heart. But I'm not a professional. I do make mistakes. It happens. Now, I'm just going to drive in these two. I grab my little spacer again to make sure it's exactly where I need to be. Hold it together with your hand. Get one of them in. Flip 
in here because I'm trying to rush because I have a short time frame. Okay. So far, it's done. The only thing really left to do now is you got to put a piece of board in the middle because I got to cut the wood for the seat part. It'll be part three. So I'm going to stop this video and unfortunately I have to make part three because they can't go longer than 15 minutes. So sit tight, be right there. I'm going to get this piece. I already have a pre-cut. So all I got to do is just make a short video of putting that little reinforcement in, putting the seat part down, the wood that I used for it, that I've saved, and we'll get going. So sit tight. I'll be right back.